This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Market Wrap. This is the James Dix Market Wrap on a Thursday. I'm Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network. Initial claims for jobless benefits dropped 20,000 to a seasonally adjusted 478,000. That is in line with Wall Street economists' expectations. The department said that Hurricanes Ike and Gustav were responsible for adding about 20,000 claims to a seasonally adjusted basis. Inventories at U.S. wholesalers rose 0.8% in August. That's higher than what analysts were expecting, while sales suffered their largest drop in more than a year and a half. Reports that the Bush administration is considering taking ownership stakes in a number of U.S. banks has helped to restore a relative calm over global financial markets today. And U.S. fixed mortgage rates declined in the latest week. The national average interest rate on the benchmark 30-year fixed rate, 5.9%. MI Homes said new contracts for new homes as well as homes delivered both fell during the third quarter. New contracts were down 19% from the third quarter last year. Homes delivered actually fell 29%. And Iran's official news agency says OPEC members are discussing holding an emergency meeting coming up this month over the decline, excuse me, in November over the uh, decline in oil prices. The news agency quoted the Iranian oil minister as saying that the meeting would be investigating the reasons behind the decline in oil prices. The emergency meeting scheduled right now to be held November 18th. OPEC previously planned to meet in December in Algeria. Scheduled economic reports coming out on Friday include the trade balance for August and the import price index for September. Earnings today, IBM's profit beat analyst forecast by four cents a share. International Speedway Corporation reported its third quarter profit quadrupled from results depressed by special items just a year ago. Yum Brands predicting solid 2009 profit growth overseas and in its sluggish U.S. business. And RPM International reporting a 1.8% rise in fiscal first quarter profit, as it also said it's likely to face a tougher year than previously anticipated. Earnings scheduled for Friday, one of the big ones, General Electric, scheduled first thing in the morning on Friday, Pfizer, uh, Biomet, Emma's Communications, Movie Gallery, Host Marriott, Emphasis, and Chase all scheduled to report their earnings. Stocks in the news today, National City Corp talking with several banks about a possible sale. Huntsman Corporation traded higher after Hexion Specialty Chemicals said that affiliates of Apollo Management agreed to contribute $540 million in capital to assist in closing Hexion's deal with Huntsman. And Walgreens said it withdrew a $75 a share bid for Long's Drug Stores. And that is the market wrap on a Thursday. I'm Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network.